So in the last video, I actually forgot to make copies of the pieces you see on the screen and put them in the preboot folder. And in this video, what I basically did is I recreated the pieces and now I will just, you know, pull these pieces with each other again. And I will probably just time lapse it because you've already seen it. But for anyone who's still interested or just want to see it again, uh, you can see it in an acceptable speed again. But on the second half of the video, or towards the end, we are actually going to bool the stock. So you may want to stick around and watch me bool the stock, and we are also going to export it for ZBrush. And as a mini challenge, actually, you could try to you know use boolean yourself on the stock okay so you wanna boolean these two or four cylinders actually with each other and uh, if you're successful then it's great if you're not you can always go back and watch the video so have fun with this video okay I have recreated all the pieces and what I will do now is I will make sure to make extra copies and put them in the pre boot folder and then I will just repeat what we did in the last video so basically I will increase the uh, segments of the cylinder and the inner cylinder and then I will just boolean all the pieces together and towards the end I will boolean the stock you know the cylinders of the stock because they are also one part so I will now put this portion of the video on a time lapse and I will see you towards the end Okay, let's move on to the stock. I want to select all these cylinders here, so in total four, and I want to make a copy of it and try to align the wireframe as, as, nice, as, as nicely as possible. And then I'm basically just moving these copies in the pre brew layer like we used to. And the next step would be to um, use Pro Boolean. So I'm just going to put the iterations of the Turbosmooth modifier to 2 
I'm going to go to compound objects, probe boolean, make sure no edge removal is unticked, or no edge removal is ticked actually, and then I'm just going to boolean these cylinders with, with each other. Next is to run a uh, vertex cleaner script that will clean all of straight vertices, and now turn to poly so it's connected. And as you can see, it looks pretty ugly, but later on ZBrush, we will be using a feature called Dynamesh to make it look nicer because now if we had Turbo Smooth, as you can see, it looks pretty ugly and it's not something we want. So, Dyn so ZBrush is going to help us with that. Okay, so once we're done with everything, you want to go into your objects and basically, I already did, did that, but you want to make sure ice line is unticked for everything. Um, and you know, I will just go into just go into your objects uh, that have Turbo Smooth on, and if you have ice line somewhere, just make sure to untick it. I'm not sure if you have to do it, but uh, if I untick it, it's kind of it kind of works for ZBrush. And here I'm just playing around with the iterations because the more polygons you have, the longer the export is going to be. But I also use ZBrush to preview some of my maps such as curvature and some other pieces. And here I actually noticed I forgot to turn this guy into a high poly. So I'm just going to quickly do that. It's not complicated at all. Just adding some loops. I'm just going to border to shift drag this here and then one loop in the middle here and that should get the job done if I now I turbo smooth okay yeah looks good so I'm just gonna keep the iteration to one so I have a lower lo uh, lower export time here and here we can just use inset basically it's not that important we're probably going to delete it in the low poly stage anyway. Okay, so now that we have all this done, I think we can go ahead and select everything here. You want to go to export, export selected, and just, you know, export it with whatever name you want. And if you hit save now, you can actually copy my uh, settings here. Just ex export. Uh, it's going to take a while, depending on the size of your mesh. But that's about it. So I'll see you in the next...